So is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 a good photography camera? Well, the simple and short answer to that is yes. Is it the first camera that you would grab if you were looking to get some photos? Probably not. But if you're out somewhere, getting some cool video in some cool places, and you need to snap a photo of something really quick, it's a very serviceable option. Yodels, it is Dan back out here at Red Rock Canyon outside of fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I just wanna start this video off by thanking everyone who checked out the last video that I put up, which was not a review or anything, but just kind of some thoughts on the DJI Pocket 3. I'm just kind of starting this YouTube adventure, so I really appreciate everyone checking the video out. I appreciate all the feedback. I'm totally out of breath, a bit of an incline, but thanks for all the feedback and comments. It's really cool to connect with like-minded people, so thank you. Really, really appreciate that. So the percentage of people that will probably buy the DJI Pocket 3 for its photo capabilities is, is really small, and by that I mean zero. But if you aren't taking advantage of the photo capabilities of this camera, you might be missing out. Now I'm not gonna run through a bunch of crazy tests to show what you can't do with this. I'm all about like, what can you do with the device you have? So we're not gonna be doing any low light concert scenario or, you know, a sporting event or anything. Just this, you know, a day like this, something that you would practically have this out at, just exploring. So the photos on the Pocket 3 are like nine megapixels, pretty small, but I think that's what it needs to be for a camera like this, where video is the primary first use of something like this. The raw files are really easy to deal with. They're easy to edit, they look good. And I just think the image quality is overall pretty good. This reminds me of that Meshuga song, Do Not Look Down, cause yowza. Real quick, if you're new to the channel, well, I pretty much am too, so welcome to it. Let's go on this weird adventure together. Make sure you subscribe, interact with everything. I guarantee things are gonna probably get kinda ridiculous very, very soon, so stick with me, subscribe, thank you. So I'm gonna cut back to my office real quick to just show you how easy the menu is to navigate on this thing. All right, so to access the photo menu, it's just like any other option on here. You click down in the corner, you slide to it. We're already on it, so we'll go right back to it. And you have a couple of options if you wanna set some things yourself. You know, you can, slide this direction and you can set your exposure, your white balance, your focus mode, and your format. Now, just for the sake of curiosity, we'll look at the exposure. I would just always keep this on auto probably for what you'll be using this for. But if you do like to do things manually, this goes all the way down to a second shutter speed and 6400 ISO. But like I said, for what you'll be using this camera for, auto is probably going to be the way to go. For your format, you can switch it to JPEG plus RAW, just a JPEG. And you can't do RAW by itself, so those are just your two options. I like to edit all my photos, so this is good to just have a RAW photo, but JPEG is cool as well because you could just pull it right off of the camera through the app, the Mimo app, if you wanted to post something quickly on social media. So just like with the video mode, you do have a zoom on here if you want to use that. You just click that. And then you use the joystick to zoom in. Probably won't be using that very often, but it's there if you need it. So the photo mode has some very basic options. If you slide up, you can set your aspect ratio. You can also have a countdown going all the way to seven seconds. This is really handy if you're just out doing stuff by yourself. This is what I used when I was out at Red Rock Canyon, just firing off selfies. So let's say you want to switch over to what I consider one of the coolest features of this camera, the panorama mode. Click on this again slide over to pano just check out how easy this is all you have to do is hit the record button and this thing will just start firing off shots 180 degrees and it's done it was that quick now if you want to review slide over this way and you can see the shot this compelling shot i just took of this empty office i just moved into every single time i come out here i feel like i get myself into a situation where i'm questioning if I should have gotten myself in that situation or not. This being one of them. Good God. Yeah, we're just gonna go a different way. So when you really think about it, there's actually a lot of advantages of using the Pocket 3 as a photography camera. For one, the active track still works when you're in photo mode. So that really helps if you're gonna do like a timed shot, it'll follow you if you need to walk away from the camera. Or of course you could just use the DJI Mimo app to track yourself remotely with that as well. And the tripod that comes with the Creator Combo is super helpful. It's just perfect size. It grips onto the rocks out here really, really well. And it makes it so you can just set this thing up virtually anywhere. 
And then there's the panoramic mode, which I love the panorama mode. There's a 180 degree version and there's a three by three version. I always just do 180 degrees, but this might be the easiest way to get a panoramic shot that exists. Let's hit the record button. One, two, three, four, bam. And that's it. And you can get some really cool creative shots with stuff like this. And it's just a great way to make memories for yourself. So in this little package, you have a great quality camera for video and photo. You have a built-in gimbal. It is a gimbal, so you don't have to buy a gimbal or lug around a large one. It's got the tripod that comes with the creator combo. It's got the mic. I know we're talking about photography, but this is like my favorite feature of the whole thing. It's awesome. It's just kind of a spectacular little machine. If you're gonna be out just wandering around like this, it's perfect to have around with you. And I know that I have to sound like such a DJI shill. Like this is the most amazing thing ever. I miss a guy who's really fascinated by camera technology. And this one didn't disappoint me and I'm having a lot of fun using it and I'm excited to take it places and to finally capture those moments in my life that I've been missing out on because when you have like your cell phone around, like this just doesn't inspire me to do anything. It never makes me want to take photos or video. And when you have something like this, that's a dedicated device that does all these cool things and makes everything look so great, stable and sharp and is fun to use. It's just a big win to me. So there it is, photography with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. One more reason to love this camera. And it's probably not one that a lot of people think of, but it's there, it's very capable, and you should take advantage of it if you have one of these devices. All right, I'm gonna find my way out of here. So thanks for checking the video out. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this video or some content that you'd maybe like to see, some topics you'd like to see covered or uncovered. Whatever it may be, comment below. Thanks for watching, be in touch, be safe, be smart, be excellent and be grateful for another day, another shot, and another opportunity. Go crush it. Before I drive off, I just have to acknowledge that this is one of the most incredible skies I have ever seen. Unreal.